All right, we are actually working. Tried to start this already once, and uh, it says cannot record while on a call. I wasn't on a call. So, <laughs> it made me restart my phone. But that's okay, because then it reminded me, oh yeah, I have to print out the recipe. So, these are Coleman Natural Hardwood Smoked St. Louis Pork Ribs and Barbecue Sauce. I got off of Imperfect Foods. Let me tell you, this barbecue sauce is really yummy. I'm gonna cook these in my air fryer. So in an oven, it says 20, 25 minutes on 375. For 25 to 35 minutes. Um, so I'm going to air fry it to 375 and I'm gonna set it for 20. And I'll check it from there. to open all of my windows because uh, this back burner back here very rarely gets used um, especially since I haven't been cooking lately <laughs> and there was something underneath the burner that promptly lit on fire when it got hot um, so to avoid my smoke detectors from going off to open my windows and my doors and everything else. Knife. I swear sometimes these uh, natural cheeses, they uh, want to make them so hard to get into. So I've got my my ribs going in the air fryer, 375, 20 minutes. That's a cheater. They're already seasoned. They're already marinated. They're already whatever, whatever. A pad of water. Doing it as a slow boil because, you know, noodles only take like six to eight minutes to cook. So I want to throw the noodles in at the same time I put the bread in the oven. So in three more minutes, I'm going to start the oven, get that started preheating for the bread. And I'm going to work on the sauce while I'm waiting for all of that. I'm using my brand new measuring cups. I'm wondering, so maybe I'm doubling this recipe. This only makes a cup and a half of sauce. I'm doubling it to make three so that we have leftovers. garlic butter that I bought to go because we are a garlic family um, 
I put extra garlic butter on the garlic bread, which again is cheating. Um, it's cheetah bread. I'll show you in just a second. Okay, there, right at half cup. Yay! Guess I should get the burner on if I want it to start melting, eh? Cheater. Cheater, cheater, garlic bread. I opened it up, added more garlic butter to it, as well as more um, garlic salt. Vampires will never stand a chance against anyone in my family. great container for flour. You live in the country like I do and the mice like to get into everything. This is a good way to protect your flour. Hold that off for there. My favorite spoon out of the dishwasher. This was $3.75. Double check that. $3.25. See? Glad I double checked. My bread would have been cooking way too high. Really should have changed my clothes before I started cooking because I am wearing good clothes. my air fryer rattling? It wasn't. It was up against something that was rattling. It's crazy. I've had this apron since I was in high school. It's from when I worked at uh... This is not my Carl's Jr. one. That was black, white, and red. Foster's Freeze. So not high school. but early 20s because I worked there until I found out I was um, pregnant with um, or about to deliver sorry child number two okay so to the melted butter which I just realized that my spoon rest also went through the wash earlier. So to the melted butter you're going to add four tablespoons of flour and again remember this is doubled the recipe. So I'm just going to add one tablespoon at a time. Turn that, turn that on its side to make it a little easier. So essentially right at first you're making a roux. Stir it in. And you're trying to, you know, it's like, you know, when you're first making gravy. You're trying to not have lumps. And you're also, you know, wanting to cook down the flour. 
as much as you can, you know, get rid of the flower taste before you start adding in all the other good ingredients. had this apron for 30 years. How crazy is that? Okay. To this, we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. And I went, you know, gen generic dairy gold. Drizzle that in, stirring as you add. You can see it's it's still pretty thick because that, again that cooker the flour is binding with the liquids. If you've ever made gravy, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. I suck at gravy. I own that one million percent. There's that one. I can see the half cup on this. Yay! because I want to keep my half cup Ugh, dry. Woo! I just splashed milk all over my kitchen floor. You're gonna have a half a cup of whole milk, which again, you saw that little tiny jar there. Pour that whole thing in. Little tiny thing of milk. We are a 2% family. Neither one of us really likes whole milk um, by itself. But whole milk and recipes is a whole different animal. I have a ghost hair. Ah, found it. Try to keep this stirring as much as possible. Oh good, I bought <laughs> generic brand cream cheese so I was hoping it had the ounce. Philadelphia cream cheese has the ounce markers on it. And because I knew I was not going to be using all of the cream cheese, some wheat thinned crackers <laughs> to have as turn the water up. Those ribs are smelling really good, let me tell you. Got the cream cheese in here. Now 
Now when I'm cooking like this, my kitchen sink tends to end up being the garbage can um, for like all the wrappers and stuff. And then at the end, I go through and gather, <laughs> gather all the garbage. <coughs> Excuse me. And get the bread in. A quick stir or not go through and actually close all my windows back up which would be nice this kind of time of day is in between hot and cold it's not warm between hot and hot and cold but usually more on the cold side than the hot side now I like to let the cream cheese <coughs> melt um, before I add the other cheese in just because it's a harder cheese you know and it tends to it takes a little bit to like get to the core of the block I mean you you can cut it up into you know little little chunks and it'll melt faster but you know this works just as well and once it reaches the temperature and the, the core of the block you drop in there it really melts super fast so there's my half cut put those away And this was that triple cheese that I was talking about on my stream that is still uploading. It's Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano. Yeah, it's still uploading as, as I'm filming dinner. And a little over the top, not quite level, because you know, you never have too much cheese. Not in this house, anyway. <coughs> Wait. Oh, I smell that garlic. a glass of strawberry lemonade while I'm cooking. That was a uh, uh, impulse buy. I'm wearing an apron because I just splashed butter all over me. So. Came in the mail. Get 
out the cheese. At least this one's not going to try to like decapitate the finger or nothing. It's already open. It's the same three cheeses, I think. That was just shredded versus grated. Turn this down. Angel hair pasta. Get in there. It got stuck. Air fryer kicked off. Sorry, two out of three of my dogs are in here eating. I'm sure you can hear them slopping around. For now, until everything builds back up and plunge up again. Would be the Narada dog freaking out. So where's the bread at? Two more minutes. Should be about timed out right for the noodles. Out of the kitchen, Liz. Out of the kitchen, Liz. <laughs> Better than breaking a nail. Thank you. 
Love this thing. Snaps onto the side of your pan. It has a built-in strainer. Like it should just kind of snap together. I figure our pantry is pretty disorganized because we tend to be in like single layers all the time. So we'd be able to put two, you know, two layers. Or not. And I ordered it from Amazon, not from Timu or Wish, so, you know, it should have normal instructions, not like the dish drainer that said it's not, not to get it wet, or, you know. <laughs> okay, so apparently the directions still aren't in English. <laughs> not an understandable English, anyway. I was trying to remember what it what, what it said. I remember. Wait, oh, there's another one of those. figure out where I put shit.
getting good at catching my foamy waterfalls. It's just it's like the other like the one we have already. It's just it's red instead of blue. Yes. And I tossed them in the garbage can and then thought, you know, considering we we live in you know goat head country, probably could have saved them as like protection. ground cover but in the house you know so that way if somebody brings something in on their shoes <laughs> yeah I just have to make sure we back in from the air map just now the new ones tender. Stick to your ribs noodles. Stick into the spoon. So, soon you're going to... I already have a... Well, I'm going to need a second fork. I'm like, I already have a fork for you. downside is that there's five. It's hard to split five two ways when you're talking about a bone in the middle, but he gets more noodles than I do, so I get more protein. And nummy nummy garlic bread. Voila! Dinner is served. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>